There are... <clears throat> there are... Like, little white girls... That evoke such, like, love and affection and, like, where they can mean, like, the world to me or just there can be a lot of love, like, strong, I don't know, or, like, a powerful love or something. Kind of like what I imagine, a fa like, a father would feel for, like, their daughter or something. Like, it would, I think it would overlap with that. Maybe not completely, but the level, like, because there was this girl that was here yesterday, and, like, and she has her own life problems that she's going through, her and her dad, um, but they were both cool, and all together in this place, we just had, like, a good, like, just good conversation and stuff, but, like, like, my heart was so, like, infatuated or so, like, touched by her and I also affected her as like I don't know if it's the same level because the level that I can feel is high but like she was also like really like I was able to touch her but let's take this a certain direction especially in relation to like love um like recent love philosophizing that I've done in the recent like two or so videos so rewind to so I'm I'm going a certain direction with this or going a certain angle. So rewind however many decades, I guess over a century to like slavery days, right? Not all slave owners would be like as horrible as like we have in our minds. Cause like we, you know, you can, I think people kind of see things in like extremities of black and white. In fact, even the way that we call the race of, black like that i'm black when in reality my skin is brown like but i'm black and then like white people they're not i don't even feel like they're white but but we take it to that extremity so so similarly with um with like slave owners there'd be some that would be more horrible than others there'd be some that maybe could even be something close to kind or at least kind of kind i would think maybe um, there was a conversation years ago with some, like, with some Christian, um, like white Christian, mainly woman, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but we were watching like the Hamilton that came when it came, I think we were watching Hamilton when it came on to Disney plus or something like the, Yeah. Hamilton I think it was Hamilton on Disney Plus but like we ended up in this conversation where um like one of the girls there and I think like Christian kind of vibe crowd um I I want to say there might have, might have been mainly women if not all women if I'm not mistaken and and also like younger like um younger as in like 20s maybe like young adult, I, maybe something like that. I more or less. I don't know if anybody would be in their late teens. It, I would want to say early twenties or so, but I could be wrong. But um, unless there was like one, there might have been one person who could have been late teens. Maybe I don't know. Who knows? Someone could have been in their late teens or something, but it might have been mostly early twenties, perhaps. But anyway, more or less young adults. Maybe, maybe that's not exact, but more or less. But anyway, there was one person that somehow after we watched Hamilton, we somehow got to this conversation and of like, just got to a conversation of like slavery or like race related stuff. And there was one woman in that group that was saying like, I don't know if I can remember exactly what she said, but like. It was mo it was kind of like she was saying like slave owners were nice or something like and I'm willing to go like to a certain extent of like that that um s that slave owners were you know some of them could be like kinder than I like I can go to a certain extent because you know more than probably your general black person could go like I know the the realm of kind of self-caging that 
most black people are in or the way that people like identify so strongly in their blackness a cu- as a culture kind of thing as well like for good and for bad i guess the way that other people like identify in their blackness like i don't do like i can be like more willing or more open on certain things like i feel anyway i'm di- like i'm i'm different than other black than all than maybe a lot of other black people, or at least some other black people. But anyway, so, like, I could see, like, you know, maybe some slave owners were somewhat nice or something, um, or at least not all of them were bad or something like that. But, and maybe she didn't mean, like, maybe she didn't mean they were all nice or something, but what she said was almost like that. Like, I don't know. Like, she said something that was something like, I don't know, maybe something like slave owners weren't bad, slave owners, just something that kind of sounds like slave owners were nice, or that they weren't all bad, or not even that they weren't all bad, like, it was like slave owners were, I don't know exactly what she would have said, so I could botch it some, and that botch could be meaningful, but like, essentially, what she said, I feel like was like, slave owners were good or kind or something even if she didn't say that verbatim because i can't remember i don't know if i remember exactly word for word but like she took it to us kind of took it to a certain level and like no one challenged her (laughs) and i i don't know if i i don't know if i challenged that or something earlier that she said but like you know a group of people and like no one it's kind of like it reminds me of this other in 20 this other time in 2020 where like I was when I was living with someone who was a drag queen and like he had people over and there was a kid over too and um he like and the kid like wanted my strawberries or something and like they were mine and like I and the only it's if I recall correctly it wasn't even that it was just that the kid had to like ask me or something like that and then like and then the mother, the mother, like, right in front of me was, like, and maybe I'm skipping something, but, like, the mother right in front of me was, like, because the, the kid was, like, shy, I guess, I don't know, like, because I think all I had, all, I think the only thing was that she had to, like, ask me if I'm remembering correctly, and she, I maybe just, maybe, she, maybe she's shy, or maybe she didn't do that or something, but the mother was, like, talk was talking to her and was like is he scary like is not even not even like not even I don't even know so much as asking as like telling like like dang and like no one said anything and like it's not like there I mean not that I'm aware of there isn't like a context of me doing something that should make me like oh is he scared like literally and no one no one said anything no one said it like and yet the, this guy that's a drag queen had, like, however far in the past had had issue when, like, his friend's kid was, like, was saying something, was, like, calling, maybe called him fag or something. And then, like, afterwards he, like, started getting on me because I didn't say anything. But, like, fast forward to then, like, he didn't say anything. Like... Anywho, um, but yeah, sometimes, like, there, people get, like, either say things or stand up for things or don't stand up for things, but, like, they do that because they feel like they're supposed to. Like, where are people's hearts, like, actually at versus the sort of, like, portrayal they put on because they don't want to be homophobic or they don't want to be racist or they don't want to be this or that. Like, people just want to be, people don't want the smoke (laughs) from that in this day and age people will give them and people, and people want to be loved. But 
I did all that deviating and it may seem like that's the main stuff that I was getting to with the slavery stuff, but that that's just me going to different, um, like deviating and talking about stuff that comes up in my mind. And there's further deviation of like little thoughts of like things as far as like, um, like kind of weird stuff as far as like mental stuff or th maybe thoughts or little things that like are also or just other types of things that I normally talk about that are coming in mind but like I'm not talking about which maybe I'm okay with for this because like I kind of want to get I mean maybe that's okay for now I don't know because I can have if I have a point that I want to make like I deviated some with the, like, me thinking of these past situations that, like, are relevant or that were relevant to me or that kind of, like, got brought up in my mind. But I can have intention with, like, where I'm trying to go with things or the point that I'm trying to make. So you may not know. <laughs> you At this point, I don't know if you would know where I'm trying to go with things anymore, but let's some of the some of the stuff that I was just saying is just some like extra points or just extra content but the thing that I was trying to connect originally is like so let's go back to like how I was saying that I feel like this cuz like the the little girl that was here yesterday who's like 14 like the love that I like feel for her is large and and with how my mental can be like, there's, there's deviances of, of stuff, but, um, but like, it's a large and good love. It's just that I have mental insecurity or oddities or whatever that are also, that also can play into things or something. Maybe, but so the way that I can feel this large love for little white girls, um, take it back decades, take it back some centuries or whatever to slavery. And like, let's say it was even a, you know, some slave owners or would be worse than others. But let's say there is a like, let's say there is like a either bad slave, like, like a slave owner that was like bad to their slaves or like at least, I mean, I don't know. Let's just say, let's just say slave owner, <laughs> I guess. Whatever slave owners that, you know, they're outside and they're whipping their slaves and they're part of this social construct that has some some black people in like really aversive living situations within their homes they could have a wife or kids or even family members perhaps that they have this like good love for but they don't have the mental capacity or the or, or they've been trained by how they grew up or how their family raised them or just, or just like for what, like even as a psychological thing that they just maybe just see black people a certain way, kind of like how I, I can only see like there's certain LGBTQ gay stuff that's like just going to be off for me. And that's how it is for people, but they don't want to get the smoke from social justice people. They don't want to be label you know, they don't want the smoke that like people of this day and age can give them so people will say like oh it doesn't it, like they'll go along with stuff because they don't want but if you would if you were to catch them in certain conversations or if you were to be able to look in their mind or their heart or you or they were as open as i am or as i try to be at points in my videos like the stuff that you hear the way that you think like things are the things that people say or don't say like their hearts how hearts how how close are their hearts to their words 
even me, how hard, how quote, I mean, if you could like just read a fluent heart script or mind script of like my thoughts and my feelings or whatnot versus like what actually ends up being able to come out of my mouth, like you get to see kind of a special take in my videos, but like even then I have to like, I mean, I've maybe grown in like being able to speak easier on certain things and like, I mean, but like even this, I have to like, this even, my videos aren't the, might not be the equivalent of like a pure, just flowing heart script or mind script. But that, I mean, how could you ever have that? Like, there's someone out there or some people out there that might be capable of providing that, but. Maybe not me. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm like, unless I found like a, a girl or a person or a counselor or something that like there exists such a place of comfortability that, um, that like, I felt like I could, I, there would have to be a space of comfortability. Like perhaps with a gifted or special kind of counselor or with somewhat like a love interest that you just kind of get to that place and they're that kind of person that makes you feel that kind of way or like or and it's interesting because some relationships they can go the other way where you feel like you have to step on eggshells with them I think but um or maybe a parent, a parent could, can, can be that too. There's, there's ways, I think, a counselor, a love interest, a parent, maybe some other examples, but there's, there's ways that you can, or types of people or types of situations where you could have such a, a space, someone could create such a space that you could just really have a, I think, I think it might be possible or at least something close to a true heart script or mind script where they can just kind of flow their feelings or their thoughts because they're comfortable like that. I think it might be possible. But anyway, my point with the love that I feel for little girls and maybe even kids, but especially little girls, like the love that I was feeling for that girl or like Shikamaru, the love that I feel, it's, it's huge. Like it is, it is like, you are my, like the way that I would feel with Shikamaru is like, it got to a point where it's like, I remember, cause I, and I think I talked about this, there, there was one night or something where it was like, or maybe one morning or something where it was like, I think it was like, you almost get to that. It was kind of like the thing of like, you could just die in this moment, like the bliss that you feel like because of my self, like self doubting or insecurity, but also some legit, like actual, like, like, <laughs> I mean, there, there could be some legitimacy in all the things that I've said in relation to children and stuff. There's some legitimacy amongst there. But there's also some stuff that's like the weeds or fabrication of like self-doubt and insecurity. But there's some stuff that's like actually legit, like being around like Jupiter in a brazier all the time. That's I mean, that there was a desire that got created off of that. But besides that, I don't think I had actual like like actual like besides just that specific area of the body and that, like, I don't think, uh, I don't think there's like actual, I don't think there's desire beyond that. If I'm not tripping. Um, and then like, I talked about like, like the curiosity of like kids privates or like that boundary thing. So there, but how my mind works has to do with like boundaries and extremities. So like, it's not just with children's privates or whatnot. It's like with balconies, bridges, 
the knife in my eye thing. It's just oddities and one minds that can exist, but who really goes? I mean, do you have the courage to go into yourself and like face those? And from what I'm finding, apparently it can be worth it because there's some mental work fruit or development that's coming. There's some, and I don't know if the spiritual development is tied to that. I mean, I don't, there's different variables. Because the infinity stuff I've been talking about, maybe that's like almost like some kind of karma or spiritual law or something because of other, sa like maybe you could say sacrifice or accidental sacrifice or other loss or whatever. It could be like spiritual law thing as far as all this like recent development as far as like a way of perceiving God or like realizing like how much God is in control or whatnot that that might be unconnected to mental work stuff. But, um, but the stuff that is mental work progression, as far as like the breaking myself, if, uh, the little choices thing, which I kind of don't want to call it that, but I've referred to it as that before. And then like, like efficiency type stuff, that's huge. So I guess it is worth going into oneself at least it has been for me maybe it doesn't work maybe it wouldn't work that way for everyone um also i don't know if everyone has a mental capacity for that um but even if you don't have a mental capacity yourself and don't have a you know your mind isn't like a world or like a a space like mine is or whatever, like you still are, should somewhat be in charge of your mental journey in a way. Like if you get a counselor or get someone, then like, I don't know, make sure you believe in them or that, excuse me, that they're giving you progress or I don't know. Just even if you need help, maybe still be in charge of your journey unless unless you don't want to be or unless you unless things aren't that way for a reason or something or maybe you don't care about your mental journey and like a parent or or uh or uh <laughs> some sort of authorities or something have like mandated it for you or something but like potentially be in charge of your mental journey even if you need help because you can't do it yourself um but anyway back to my back to the original point that i was trying to make that i got farther on but um so if back in these days century a century or more ago where there's actually over a century ago, I would think when there was slavery, like it was still possible for beautiful love to exist in those days. There could be a white owner, slave owner, who's whipping slaves during the day, but could come home and have this beautiful love for his wife and or his little daughter or his kid or something, but he wouldn't have the mental capacity or the understanding or have the framework of mind either because of how he grew up or just because psychologically black people are just this they're not part of his utopia world that's how it is with me and like other people too in relation to gay or lgbtq people it's like unless unless i've bonded with you in heart then like that can bypass like my like whatever like uh aversions or or what whatever maybe not aversions whatever um like isn't my world like i can still connect like individually with people um and that's i mean and that's kind of how it can work like even if there's someone who's gay or black or this or that like an individual even if they carry in a like a off trait in relation to someone's perspective they can still connect with that person if they have good qualities or something like that's kind of how it can work like you know like naruto how he's able to prove himself not that he carries 
such a trait of like but actually he kind of did i mean he had the nine-tailed fox like he was taboo to the village at one point but i mean he was still part of the the village in a way i mean he still went to school etc and like he ends up like he ends up um I mean, he ends up proving himself like humans at a certain point, like you end up respecting people that keep pushing that just show these traits endure, like people that push and like, just show this, like show character, like Captain America or Naruto type character, or whatever, or whoever else, like, you know, you end up you end up inevitably getting respected, I feel like, if you have, um, if you have enduring character, or just, or strong character, or this strength of self, or this, if you have that something, whatever it is, but anyway, um, so, point being with connecting the large love that I can feel for, like, girls like Shik Shikamaru, or, um, or the, or the girl that was here yesterday, um, like, so, and c kind of connecting it to recent philo philosophizing on love from recent videos in this series, like, let's see if I can even, like, <laughs> put words, or let's see if I can even craft what I'm trying to get at, um, Or maybe I need to bring other th other variables into the mix first. Perhaps. Um, so in recent videos, I've I think I've I think I've talked about how like, you know, you're it's kind of like the thing of like how your enemies could have been your friends, your friends could have been your enemies. Um, you know, because like let's say you have someone that you rock with in your life. And you rock with them. Maybe they treat you well. Whatever. Um, not whatever, but but someone else, they could have done who hor up to horrible things, or maybe just some bad things, or other people they maybe haven't treated how they've treated you. Basically, I guess it, as far as love, potentially where I'm starting to like theorize in the direction of maybe is like. You can't per se judge a person by an action or like a small thing. Like a person is like a world, right? A per like, let's say it's someone who's like, like, let's like the, the boyfriend here, like he's probably over 40 or something. Like there might be something that comes to my mind in relation to in the past or like even currently of like in relation to getting a job or something but like i mean yesterday and like amongst the conversation when the girl and her dad were here and we we're all just having kind of this good conversation i felt like also i saw my middle brother on tv yesterday so that was a cool thing too hanging out with the little girl and with and also that they trust me here with like a with like a young girl here um, but, but also that, that girl was just a touching experience, but also earlier in the day, another good thing is that I saw my middle brother on TV. Um, cause he was, cause the boyfriend had football on there's, and the first game of the day was the lions versus the someone. And I, I saw, I think he's, I think he's number 74. So I was able to see him. And if, in fact, I saw him when he was on the field too. Like, I don't know if I actually saw him play or perform, but like I saw his, uh, I, I saw him when he was on the field to some capacity, even if he wasn't like playing actively at the moment. But, um, and not that I have, I mean, cause apparently he doesn't, according to my youngest brother, he <laughs> doesn't rock with me cause apparently like people that were coming people like 
or contacting his old football team or something off of my stuff or something, um, of, off of my, like, reputation or stuff, like, or off of my stuff, people were, like, apparently contacting his old team or something, so he, he did, he, like, what I was wondering in the past, like, he did, he did block me, most likely, because my youngest brother kind of ended up opening up a little bit on, on stuff, on his own feelings <laughs> as well, and I talked about that, too, but his own feelings more so in relation to the past, not so, not, not at, I mean, stuff from this and my current reputation or whatnot was brought up, too, but, uh, yeah, he just, he opened up about stuff in relation to his own feelings in the past. And as far as current, rep, my current reputation stuff, I don't know if so much as his feelings, but just like bringing up the content or some content, a little content in relation to that. And then something that I hadn't seen actually. And then, um, and like a little stuff about the middle brother too. So middle brother might like hate me or not rock with me at all right now or something. But at least it hasn't affected his football because he on that field or he and he, and or he on that team. But I don't know where I am in my heart even with him right now. Um, but yeah, like you can't any any person like there's there's this higher place that I. I mean, I, I'm starting to see like a progression of in my development that's like because the way that like the videos were kind of going from like in in recent in the recent like handful of videos or so the way that I was going from like big picture to bigger picture to like love stuff just like the progression of philosophizing in the last handful or so of videos like there's like in a progression or there's like a Sort, sort of development like God is involved and I and I don't know the nature of God or how God works but like you know higher power universe da, 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 but like there comes points anyway um whether whether in what I'm talking about now or in other points of life there can because, like, I feel like a few days ago or something, there is, like, a point where, like, because I'm, there might come a point that even if I'm, like, letting, like, be more open-minded as far as, like, the idea of a God, there still comes a point where you want to give credit to something or to someone or that there's, like, credit deserved maybe or something. So, like, because in recent days, like, and maybe not even just recent days, there's, like, you know, like, I think I've done God with, like, quotation marks or something. Like, I'm just kind of, like, opening, open, like, kind of opening stuff up or something, kind of. But a few days ago, either in a video or maybe when talking with someone, maybe even. So, maybe it wasn't in a video. Maybe we're talking with someone. It There comes a point where you want to, like, give credit. So, it's, like, God or or something like that. Um, but anyway, but yeah, so there's, I mean, okay, before I get to, I, I was going to, before I go back to love talk back on the thing of like, just the idea of how there seems to be this, this progression, like I saw holes with Jupiter's mom and that girl yesterday, um, and then I saw, and then I ended up watching Full Court Miracle. And in Full Court Mir be between those two movies, and then also then in Full Court Miracle, there's also this thing of like, that's just a fairy tale. Like, Peter Pan, Hocus Pocus, Full Court Miracle. There's a third time. There's this thing of like, not believing in this thing that is. And so in regards to Bible stuff, I would think, or in regards to something, like, there's just, obviously, I'm not always a great talker, 
but I hope that in all the things that I'm saying in like recent videos or like amongst my videos that like you can see or discern that something's going on at points or I don't know. <laughs> and then also not everything I say is going to be accurate. I don't even review videos for the most part anymore. Mo like there is one case with that one video that I felt off about. I did. Um, and maybe I've, I don't know if, and maybe at another point I've looked at like part of a video or maybe even all of a video that was, maybe that was short or something, but like, so there's stuff that can end up being a little off or something too. So the, my videos aren't perfect capturing of data, but, but, um, I, like, I, I might, I, I might end up in the NBA or something like something like I and like I don't know the rules of faith like in the past like in the past growing up it's like you know I just have this faith or or whatnot but like I've been wrong in my life so like I don't know the way that things work you know like I can't always discern God from the devil maybe even a lot of times or something like I don't know I can't I don't but something's gonna happen Like I can, in the progress, the way that recent videos have progressed. Um, yeah, the, re the way that recent videos have progressed, but maybe even more than that. Like there's, there's, there's variables in my life or in my developments that could be relevant. And like, I'm going to Nigeria soon. Is something going to happen in Nigeria? Is it, is there a reason that like, there's just variables or there's just, and then maybe, I don't know if it's every day, but some days there can be like hints or things in your world that like maybe point to something but then like if you get too hung up on something which is something I'm oft I, like something that I'm apt to do or if or whatever the word is something that I'm like likely like I just I get stuck on stuff and that's that's hard psychology that like hopefully I can progress in like that's the kind of stuff that I was talking about in like the very able series and like and maybe beyond that, like, because I, I begin stuck on stuff, but like, I need to not get stuck, even if it's even in, I mean, there could be a certain level of like, in relation to honesty or whatnot, that like, okay, that does, I mean, there's, there might be a certain level where something does need to be done with that, but like, I don't need to be holding on to stuff the way that I do. We need, to, I think it might have to just be progressing beyond that, like to just not don't like don't hold on to stuff like that's just being human or or whatever i mean i might have to just let go of like holding on to stuff because there's stuff that like in reality maybe is little but for me i hold on to it and like that'll be hard psychology that'll be hard like to develop but like even if something seems a little off or could i mean be a little dishonest like i mean there's a commitment to honesty so that i mean it shouldn't ideally it shouldn't be some like cop out or like okay start okay to start lying a little bit but there's like nuances of social communication or, or even just nuances of psychology or nuances of stuff that like honesty doesn't end up being a black and white thing all the time so not that i should like take this as a like start to like 
I mean, be about that honesty life. But this thing of like holding on to stuff, like, I don't know. It just needs to be more in flow to be able to let go of things. I feel like, like even this morning and last morning, last morning wasn't in relation to honesty stuff. I don't think last night was like, or last morning was uncomfortably with like the video that I had made. I don't know. There's just, whether it's honesty or morality stuff as I lose, or as I lose hold of the reins with the openness of these videos and how it talks about other people or stuff like honesty, morality, there's there's things that I just hold on to and maybe in both things I need to like let go I don't know but there's some hard psychology that I might have to do <laughs> um um but anyway so as far as love though like Um, you, it, you can't just like love, I mean, or no, okay. Like you can't per se just judge someone off in action. Like they're a whole world. I mean, saying the way that I've said that, like my mind is a world or something, or saying that people are world, both of those might be like, over, like maybe exaggeration to it or something but like it's kind of like a person it's a world and like they have their own path like everyone has their own path and like there's just this higher love that you know because it's a it's a dark world there's sla there there was slavery there was the holocaust there there is things happening to children that have happened to children from men like there's things that men have done to women there's stuff that women do to men like what woman 3 is capable of or like that kind of heart like or just women that like take things certain ways or like kind of are like that like toxic or whatever nature of where they're willing to or just like there's one but then even those women it's they've experienced stuff from men or from maybe kids who are in school when they were growing up like people that are like that are like eat like <laughs> evil or like toxic or or me or whatever like something caused them to be that like this world is like cause and effect and actually that that the universal laws videos that talked about xx and ta that talked about xxx tentacion from a few days ago or something um one of those videos said something about like everything is cause and effect if i'm not mistaken um but I feel like I got that from, from something. I think it was one of those XXX Tentacion videos. Not that he did the video, but he was just, he was mentioned in at least the first one a couple or more times. But one of the things I, that was said in one of those videos, I think was something about how like everything is cause and effect or something perhaps, but There's this higher love that, like, maybe some people have already gotten to. But there's this higher love that... And maybe people will have different ideas of higher love. Or get to different types of higher love. But, like... You know, I... And then in relation to people, like, if someone does a certain thing, like, I can get stuck on it. Like, even with Jupiter's mom, like, I'm, I'm still stuck on the money thing or... Um, you know, but then there's some really touching there's at least one really touching thing that she sent me the other day and like but then I started but then she started seeming off in her messaging so like I started thinking like maybe this was some setup or something um because it wasn't it's kind of sounding like her but I mean it was her like I'm here and where things are I mean but I'm still part of me is still in relation to her in relation to the boyfriend like so different for different reasons 
I, I, I think you could maybe say, like, my, I'm stuck on certain things. And, like, maybe even that more hard psychology, maybe even that I need to, like, I don't, if possible, I don't know, but to, like, let go of sticking to stuff with people. Anyway, it's just, there is darkness, there is intense, that's what I was, as the little girl left, that's what, I, like, I told her something, like, there's horror in the world, or there's whatever in the world, but there's beautiful in the world, and, and I also said he, that she was part of that beauty, or, or, like you, I said something like that, um, like, I was able to touch her yesterday, and she has life stuff that she's going through, her and her dad, it sounds like, like, apparently the beginning of their Thanksgiving yesterday was bad, but <laughs> you can bet hanging out with me and Jupiter's mom, like, like, I was a part of her, I would think, her, the rest of her day being good. Unfortunately, I think the dad had to deal with more drama, probably, at the end of his Thanksgiving, but... And also, the, the, the Jupiter's lips thing with the with the uh picture out there like i was able to do a lot of breaking my psychology like or the or rather breaking myself that breaking myself thing like that like breaking myself i was able to do that so it was actually like a good opportunity because i was messing myself up <laughs> i was breaking myself also another thing of interest is that i kind of noticed is like that was never a thing but now it's a thing so that means that, like, focus points that I have, like, or, or things that I get, like, because if, if that wasn't a thing, and it is a thing now, there might be something to be learned from that, or there might be data to be read. And another thing that I was thinking of earlier today is, like, so I... Like I said, some of the stuff that I've said in relation to children's stuff is a thing, like the curiosity in relation to children's privates with Jupiter's like brassier thing because or with like desire in relation to that because I was constantly around her, like her in a brassier, like there's legitimacy of some stuff that I said with children's stuff, but some stuff is like sort of a fabrication or like off of like self-doubt or insecurity or or whatever some of it is like kind of fabricated in a way or self-created or something um or making things out of things that didn't need to be a thing or, or i don't know but something i thought about earlier today which i have kind of thought of before so this isn't exactly new like i've thought of <laughs> something close to this before but like i'm so i'm judging myself so okay so my mind will go to like weird places or touch on weird places in relation to stuff with children or like but the reason my mind goes there is because it's like the this the reason it goes that way or like the cattle i don't know but whatever is because like it's going to things that like would not be ideal for me to think. So if that is the, um, the stimulus or cause or whatever, then, like, I just, I noticed something today which because I, I mean, I've done something in these realms of thinking before, but some of this maybe could be new, but like, I'm doing to myself what like, I don't want other people to do to me. Like the way that I'm saying that other people need to be like detectives or that like, they need to know like why a person like, okay, this stuff comes out of my mouth, but like, what's the why and da da da. Like there's something of what I've said of what I've like said other people would need to be or like or something that like i'm 
like I'm doing to myself something that like other people are kind, I mean, not the same way, but like, cause what I should do then, if that's the reason for the thinking that way, one, cause boundaries are a thing with me. Like I could either be like, okay, we're putting a boundary here. If, if I have the psychological strength for this, if this is a thing that a person could do, okay, we're, th this is where I want the line to be. Here's a boundary. Or another way to defeat this or to do stuff with that is that like, to just, to understand that like, I need to, I actually need to potentially like know where my heart is on stuff. Because my mind, if my mind is going to such thoughts or such areas, because it like it's going to things that are not ideal to think, then I need to, like I need to know that's why the I don't know like I need to know like that's why the thought is happening or I need to like know where my heart is, and like I'm it might one path and maybe what I would want to do is just like to just like that that it's okay, like. But to know that, like, that's not me. Like, the reason my mind is going to that thought is because it's the thing to, like, my and my mind has a thing with boundaries. Like, so because of the tension of the situation or whatever, whatever, like, it's like checking where its boundaries are. You could almost say, like, maybe I'm not saying things exact. Like, I could be somewhat off on something, but, like, I have a thing with boundaries. And also that's, it's a double-edged sword because like my creativity, I would think could be connected to my challenging boundaries or whatnot. Like if I'm able to see how words can rhyme and like whatever, whatever, is that not cut from a similar cloth? I feel like, like this is the, you could almost say dark side of like creativity or something. Um, but like, so if my mind, if like in a sort of tension situation of like, oh, this isn't what I'm supposed to think. Like, like I said, like that, the thing with, the thing with like, to put my lips on Jupiter's lips on the thing out there, that's not even like a thing or like shouldn't even, but like, because of the new tension in relation to not that Jupiter's mom has caused any of that tension. I mean, I don't mo like, not, I mean, mostly if not at all, like, that like it's not that that tension is from here or it's from people doing stuff for the most but like because i mean there was one point yesterday where like because i was asking because the because the girl was talking about i was learning about like because the girl has anxiety the boyfriend has anxiety like stuff like that and then i asked her if jupiter had anxiety and like there's kind of like a maybe difficulty with answering that but that could be because jupiter could just be a hard can't can at points be a hard topic for her or maybe it could be difficulty with talking to me in relation so but i wouldn't know for sure on that but anyway unless that's unless that's part of it like but that was but that was like mid yesterday so so that could be whether that's part of one that might not be why, like my repetition or whatever in relation to stuff might not even be why there is difficulty on that front. But even if it was like, that was like at some point during the day and like that, um, thought or focus or whatever was before that. So like, it's just with the tension, the situation that like, or anticipated, I don't know, just like attention or whatever, like an awareness or like a spotlight. I'm like, okay, this is, this is something that would really not be okay to think. Um, because like, if, like, if, I mean, even, even that, even me have, because that was not a thing before and it shouldn't even be a thing now. Like I'm just kind of, this is another thing that's, I mean, I'm kind of making, some, I don't know, but, but like, because of the extra tension on the situation and maybe because of how I am with boundaries, it's like, oh, well, here's something that I don't know. 
hopefully hopefully what I'm saying kind of makes sense. Like I have a thing with boundaries. If there is a like topic or area or whatever where like there's a sort of tension that exists around that because like it's really something that I I mean it's because it's something that I shouldn't think now or would be unideal to, to think. Like my mind like goes to the things that would be unideal to think. So with recent whatever in relation to Jupiter or whatnot and being in their home, that is something that now becomes like, oh, this would be un like, I may not be hitting it on right on the head with how I'm saying stuff, but like, it's kind of the thing. Hopefully I'm kind of saying it accurately enough or hopefully I'm like getting to truth enough, even if not perfectly like, so then, then now it's like, there becomes a focal point of like her picture and like, my lips on her lips or something like that um even though it's also kind of not a thing but but anyway um so if i if there is a reason or if there's if my mind goes to things because it's like either challenging boundaries or just or maybe maybe not even challenging boundaries. Maybe it's out of fear, for whatever reason, that it goes to what would be unideal to think. Well, that's not my heart. That's that's a brain pattern. So why would I identify myself and be like that's who I am if my mind is going? So I've I've talked about something like this before in the past, but so if I can get myself to just like understand like maybe why my mind goes to certain things and know where my heart is or who I am or something like that. I mean, it. I don't know how easy it would be to create enough equilibrium of like, it's okay to think whatever kind of thing or like to understand why my mind goes to certain places and know, and like to know why my mind goes to certain places and, um, to know why my mind goes to certain places and then to, to be like, excuse me, to be okay with it going to certain places, but to have maybe comfort or like, it would help. It will help me to know that like, like the why of my, that my mind is going to play to certain places. And like, I guess like if I can create the equilibrium, like allow myself to go that, you know, it's kind of, kind of the okay on your mind can go wherever. And then to know, anyway, if I can, if I can like kind of a thing of like that, I am allowed to think whatever, um, and the understanding of like why my mind is going to those certain places. Um, I mean, maybe to get to some sort of equilibrium where like, but to be able to get to an equilibrium would have to involve like knowing why my mind goes to some of these places that it's going, um, or goes to these places. So like, so I guess it's to know, having to know like where my heart is and to understand my mind. Because I, cause currently, I guess I'm like putting too much whatever on wherever my mind goes. But just because my mind, like I, I literally, I mean, my mind is literally, or I'm literally going to places that would be unideal for me to, that's like why I go there. So why then would I identify myself if that's the why or the brain pattern of it? So like the thing that I've been saying, something of what I've said in relation to other people of how like, of how they should digest me or like, or how they should see things or how they should look into things like applies to me too. Like I've, I've been doing, like I've been doing so like not the same way. Cause other people have been like dark with how they've been doing this, but like I've been, doing malpractice with understanding myself too. So, but if I can create an equilibrium and one thing of which would one 
needed thing for that would be to know the why my brain goes to certain things. Because it just it just creates a being out of equilibrium when my mind goes to places that would be unideal out of fear or out of whatever. And like and then like kind of judge myself off of that or feel like I have to report that on videos or or whatever it is that I'd be doing or however it is that I am. Like But yeah, there's dark things that have happened in this world, in the past, in the present, I guess in the future. But people have paths, people have whole lives before they got to the point that they ran into you and like, to be able to see more big picture, I guess, in relation to their life. And in relation to loving them. Because your enemy could have been your friend. Your friend could have been your enemy. So maybe just love everyone. Maybe just, I don't know. Maybe just forgive everyone. I don't know. I'm not big on forgiveness. I'm more understanding. Forgiveness isn't my thing. Understanding, talking things out is my like ideal Which I've been able to do with Jupiter's mom a lot in my knowing her. Or at least she's, I mean, I've been able to. But the way, but I've, I've been able to like talk with her on things that I need to talk about in my knowing her. More than other, more than maybe anyone else. But then the way that my heart works with people, like even with her, like I'm stuck on something. It's like that has to be addressed versus being able to see all that she's been for me or all that she is like big picture. Like with people, I really, I really get stuck on if there's something that I'm not okay with and just that becomes everything versus being able to see them big picture, let alone being able to see them big picture in relation to their whole life. Even outside of their relationship, which even outside of their relationship with me. Oh, and we're all going to die. Oh, and I had another darkness. <laughs> darkness experience yesterday where it was it was strong it was i mean strong i mean strong in a way but it was it was strong it was like to just again just like kill everyone everyone should die <laughs> like like probably even in relation to Jupiter's mom i think like just just want it there's a part of me that just i i feel like but anyway, so so there is there is a darkness listening yesterday or whatnot and like but then because like it it seems like when you and I mean obviously this could hypothetically go bad or something, but it seems I feel like what I'm seeing is that like when you let your darkness like be alive or come to the light or come to life or like be more when you let it speak or let it whatever 
it seems like it comes into contact because I've experienced this more than once with these sort of darkness dances. I've experienced this more than once where it's like it comes into it's like it comes into contact with light, with the light of the world or with light or something. Even in a way that like ends up with an appreciation of light beyond what I would normally I mean, granted, I mean, I've I've been developing certain ways over the last year, so like I mean in a sense I have high I can have like appreciation or um I mean I can have developing or I mean as far as like appreciation of the little things in the day or like I mean I've maybe developed on such fronts but like there's a way that like when I let my darkness speak or be more in the picture or something that it ends up coming into contact with light somewhere in that dance and the appreciation is something that I it experiences light in a way that like I can't it experiences light in like a fresh or like a it like oh like a a certain way that like I don't experience like it's like it's touching a light that it hasn't gotten to touch because it's been hidden in a corner or something and like or something kind of like that. And like I I were like with Christians. Because Christians end up seeming so robotic and stuff. And like with modern Christians. I wonder what type, what state their psychology can be in or something. Like with the narrative of. Because there might be something that they're calling the devil. That like really is them or I don't know. Christian psychology and like, and not just Christian psychology, like maybe people that are religious, there's other ways that your mind, that you can feel like you have to act in like these certain parameters, but like, I mean, they, they have a sort of outlet because, you know, they believe their beliefs in God or their faith or their whatnot. There's, there's, a, there's an outlet or there's a, there's something that can, um, that can be a, uh, like their belief in God or their faith or their something, you know, that can do something or be like an outlet or something or, or balance thing. I don't know it, that can do something, but like, anyway. But yeah, I, the girl that I met yesterday, like, I love her, like, she liked the blanket that I had, I don't, I was considering leaving it for her, but, but I might just, I don't know, I might, I'm, I'm, I might just take the blanket because I might see her in the future, and then she can use it again, unless for some reason I change my mind or something. But otherwise, maybe because she would probably like that. So I don't know. And I have other blankets in my storage unit. So. But I don't know. And like, she deals with anxiety. Jupiter's mom's boyfriend deals with, like, deals with stuff. And like how many things do people deal with within themselves that are like big things but like if you haven't experienced it <laughs> what is it to you but yet it could be such a big thing for a person like people that are gay or transgender or or just even woman like and how you know because I was or even woman like part of the biological or whatever other, or cultural or whatever experiences of being a woman like if you haven't experienced it or if you don't have some path of being able to relate to it then what is it to you but like it can be such big there can be big things that people deal with that are hidden under the surface to some degree to maybe not fully hidden under the surface but to some degree Yeah, 
I was able to touch that girl yesterday. Like, I remember this Allison one because, <laughs> yeah, there were one or more things that I was able to do or that I was to say or do yesterday. And, like, I ended up, like, giving my attention to, like, different, during, like, kind of big group conversation yesterday, I ended up giving my attention to, like, spreading it out, even though my heart's focus is, like, on her. But, and even though that was, like, I mean, that's me being uh, insecure, like, or whatever, and not, not wanting, like, but I'm glad that that happened because, like, I was, like, involving everyone. So I like, even though it was like fake in a way or like, or something, I, I, that was, or like that was good or I like, cause like, I, like that was good. <laughs>